So we are comparing the different skeletal systems between a cat and a turtle. First off, we're going to start by looking at the axial skeleton of the cat. The axial skeleton consists of the skull, the mandible, the hyoid apparatus, the vertebral column, ribs, and sternum. So starting with the skull. The skull contains incisors, canines, molar, and premolar teeth. The dental formula is 3131. The sagittal crest of the head is important for muscular attachment. The fusion throughout the parietal and frontal lobes allow for strength throughout the skull for protection of the skull. There are two large orbital cavities to support the eyes. The presence of a soft palate allows for the separation of another airway. The hyoid. The hyoid supports the tongue and the larynx. Now on to the vertebral column. There are seven cervical, thirteen thoracic, seven lumbar, three fused sacral, and twenty-three caudal vertebrae. The vertebral column protects the spinal cord and provides attachment for the ribs. However, each segment has a specific function. Cervical are characterized by the presence of foramina transcericaria. The first cervical vertebra is the atlas. It differs from the others as it lacks a spinous process and a body. Instead, the sides are thickened to form the lateral masses on the ventral arch, creating strength. The thoracic segment is characterized by coastal demifacets. The spine on the top of the vertebrae is typically long and transverse process is thick. The elongation of the spine indicates muscle attachment and the thickness increases structural strength. Lumbar are the largest of the vertebrae due to the abdominal muscles requiring attachment. They are characterized by the large size and the absence of coastal faucets, as seen in the thoracic vertebrae. The sacrum consists of three fused sacral vertebrae. The fusion allows for greater strength and support. The caudal vertebrae are the smallest of the vertebrae. They provide balance during motility. Ribs and sternum. The ribs allow for greater surface area for muscle attachment. As well, they create a protective cavity for the soft internal organs, which are vital for survival as the heart and lungs are found underneath. The sternum is where the coastal cartilage attaches. Now, to compare the axial skeleton of the cat to the turtle, we're going to look at the turtle. For the turtle, there are no teeth present in the upper and lower jaw. Instead, there is just a ridge that protrudes to add aid in digestion. The dentary, angular, and serangular, which are present in the lower jaw, are all dermal bones. The fusion of the skull, like the cat, emphasizes the strength that this feature offers to protect the brain. The vertebral column which is inside is fused to the shell of the turtle 
and a hard solid structure on the alternate side of the shell is called the plastron. This creates support and protection for the turtle in its underwater environment. Within the cavity created by the shell and underwater, this allows for buoyancy. Now, to go back to the cat, we're going to look at its appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton consists of its pectoral girdles, the forelimbs, and the pelvic girdles and hind limbs. The length of the bones present in the limbs allows for mobility and strength. In comparison to the turtle's appendicular skeleton, the phalanges are, as well as the carpals and metacarpals, and tarsals and metatarsals, are specifically designed for an aquatic environment resembling paddles. This makes travel in the water more efficient as compared to land travel, since the support presented with the girdles and the appendages are not as developed and mobile as the cat. Even with all the structural difference between the cat and the turtle skeletal systems, the main functions remain the same, support and protection. The structural differences arise since each animal is best adapted for an environment and therefore this is reflected in their differences.